Hi, and welcome to another edition of 60 Days with Nat Jones. This is the second video that I'm shooting for the Spartacus workout because of all the questions and the feedback I got on my first video. Now, in this video, I will have tips for beginners and advanced users. What you're going to need for the Spartacus workout are a set of dumbbells. Now, I suggest that you don't have get dumbbells that are round because they're going to roll away from you on certain exercises that can hurt you. Hex or power blocks, which I have here. I got a lot of questions about these things. And power blocks, basically what they are, are adjustable weights that range anywhere from 5 to 125 pounds you can buy a set. Uh, check out the link below for more information. This section, nice to have, but not necessary. These are kettlebells. I'll show you what you can do with those. And an exercise ball, which I will show you later on how you can use it as well. The Spartacus workout is a form of circuit training, which basically means you perform a series of exercises with little to no rest in between each exercise. There are 10 exercises in this workout. Perform the exercises for 60 seconds. Take a 15 second break at the end of each exercise. At the end of the 10th exercise, rest for 2 minutes. Repeat. Do this for 3 circuits. Perform this workout 3 times a week. Workout Tips 1. Warm up 5 to 10 minutes before you start this workout. 2. Track your progress. I created a downloadable PDF that will track everything you need for this workout. And if you get a chance, join the Spartacus Workout Club. 3. Keeping your timing and pace is crucial to the Spartacus Workout. Download Workout Muses MP3. It does everything. It will tell you the number of exercises you're on, the rest periods, and the circuit you're on as well. 4. If you're just starting out, lift light. For all exercises, squeeze your core throughout. The first exercise is the goblet squat. Grab your weight and hold it as you would a cup, like so. Stand with your feet slightly wider than your shoulders, and then bend at your hips as low as you possibly can go. Sticking your chest out and your butt back. For you advanced users, you want to make this exercise harder, take the weight and move it slightly away from your chest, this will make your core work harder. If lifting the weight is a little bit too hard for you, these are not goblin squats, they're called prison squats. Start without a weight. Put your hands behind your back and perform the same motion. The next exercise are mountain climbers. Get yourself in a push up position. Make sure your back is straight. Lift up one leg underneath you and climb the mountain. For advanced users, try doing this with an exercise ball. Get into the same position as you would on the floor and lift the legs. You will feel this right away. The next exercise is the single arm dumbbell swing. You can do this exercise for 30 seconds on each arm or a minute on each arm. It's up to you. Start out with your feet slightly wider than your shoulders and bend down into a squat position. Maintain your back in its natural form and swing the weight up. So it's just at your eye line. To make this exercise even harder, roll it to the tips of your toes. Get those calves in there a little bit. Another thing you can do if you have kettlebells because of their shape, they're really easy to use at the same time. The next exercise is the T push-up. Get yourself into a push-up position with your feet slightly wider than a normal push-up. Perform a push-up and lift your arms straight up until it's a T. Now I'm using light weights here, but if you want to do heavier weights, lifting it straight up in this rotation is really hard. So I perform them like so. You do a push up and then lift here straight up. If 
if you're just beginning this exercise, lift light and your feet slightly wider so that it's easier for you to maintain your balance. The next exercise is the split jump. This is considered a high impact exercise. So when you jump up, you want to land as softly as possible, toe and then heel. So out the jump by getting into a lunge position with your torso straight, then simply jump straight up and switch your legs in midair. To make this exercise even harder, do it with some light weights in your hand. Now, if you have bad knees, you can still do this exercise. Just don't do the jump. Just step through. So down in lunge position, come up, step through. Come up, step through. Now, if you're just starting out with this exercise and it's hard to do 10, do as many as you can and then cheat a little bit. Don't go all the way down. And don't go as much height. Slight height and just maintain. The next exercise are bent over rows. Stand with your feet shoulder distance apart, sit out with the weights on your thighs, and then bend at the hips as far as you can possibly go without bowing your lower back, and then lift straight up right underneath your rib cage. Try to squeeze your shoulder blades at the top together. Don't lift out here, lift inward. Want to make this a little harder? Add a little twist. The next exercise is the dumbbell side lunge and touch. Start out in a standing position, then lunge to your side, and then bend over and touch. Keep your back straight as possible throughout. That touch is a killer. Now if you can't touch the ground or if you're not that flexible, there's nothing wrong with stopping right here. To make this exercise even harder, perform the lunge, touch, stop halfway, perform a squat, perform a lunge on the other side, touch, stop halfway, perform a squat. The next exercise is the push-up position row. I've got 30 pounds here. Get into a push-up position with your feet just as wide as your shoulders so you can balance. Then lift up the weight to your rib cage. Straight up. Don't take the weight and roll over with it like that. Keep it straight. Now if you want to make this exercise even harder, perform a push-up, then a row. The next exercise is the dumbbell lunge with rotation. Start out with the weight just below your chin, I'm working with 30 pounds here. Step out into a lunge, then rotate. Want to make this exercise a little harder? Bring down the weight a little bit, step out into the lunge, rotate to one side, then the other, then back up. The last exercise in the Spartacus workout is the dumbbell push press. You want to start with your feet, shoulder distance apart. Bring the weights up to your shoulders. I'm using 30 pounds here. Bend your knees slightly and then with your knees and your arms at the same time, explode straight up and push the weights up. If you want to make this exercise harder, do Arnold presses on the way up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. For more information on the Spartacus workout, go to 60 Days with Nat Jones slash Spartacus or go to the new site that I'm creating, the Spartacus Workout Club. Now this site is going to focus on more extreme workouts. Thank you for joining me and please subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you later.